Okay, any questions come up? Hush, hush, children. Any questions come up? Where did the, sorry, where did the views, where, where were the, what was the drive? Did you create a directory for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that was that was my fault. I originally called it public. That's what we're going to do next. It should have been called views. Oh, okay. Adrian? Um, I don't know if you can, but there's a possibility of you can set up a list application so you can create a cache. So that could be if you have multiple res.renders in here. So let me see if I can reproduce that, actually. Res.send. Oh. Res.send. Yeah. You do have both? Yeah, so that's one thing about this stuff. It's like how in Rails you can only have one render in a controller action. Here you can only have one res dot something or res dot. Well, okay, that's not entirely true. You can only have one of res dot send, res dot render. I think that's actually how we're going to be doing with res. Is you can only have one of either res dot send or res dot render. Otherwise, it's trying to send two HTML pages at the same time, and you can't do that. Right. Uh, depends a little bit. They're they're independent of each other, though. We haven't even done anything with Angular yet. Like right now, everything we're doing is is just like Rails, super super stripped down. Yeah, it's not single page, right? It's actually it, or is it a single page? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it no. More like yeah. Page. And actually, that brings up a, a something that I really want to talk about, which is that people always get really hung up on the fact that this is JavaScript and we have front end JavaScript. They're really completely different things. Like this backend JavaScript has no idea that front end JavaScript even exists. They're both, you could think of them as like two completely different pieces of software. They just happen to be written in the same language. It's like how you can use English to write a bill for Congress or you can use English to write a fart joke. I mean, they're like completely different things, but they're both still just English. They do completely different things, but they're both still English. So the simple fact that this is JavaScript doesn't mean it like automatically can talk to the front end. That's not how it works. This is exclusively back end stuff. Excuse me. So yeah, um, well, right now this is a single page app because it has literally just one page. But we're going to be making it. We're going to be making several other pages as well. Adrian. That's actually basically what we're doing today. Yeah, I just well because you said we want to add Angular. It just Angular is going to be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great point. Is like you totally don't need to have Angular on an Express app. You don't even have to have Mongo on an Express app. I mean, you could have an Express app that is like really just well, I'm not gonna erase it, but just res dot send the way we had it before. In fact, if you're using Express to make an API, all an API needs to do is just spit out JSON. So you probably don't even need handlebars for that. You don't even need views. Um, so yeah, Express's whole thing is being as lightweight as possible so that if you do want to do something extra, then you need to like put more stuff on top of it. But it's just trying to keep super, super lightweight and bare bones. All right, so the next thing is going to be adding in some CSS. Uh, and then after that, we'll be getting into having multiple pages in here. But the next thing is going to be adding in CSS. So this is where I'm going to create the public folder. And this doesn't actually need to be called public, but it's convention to call it public. Uh, and in here, I'm going to put a piece of CSS. Let's see, where should I put it? I will create a folder called CSS because I'm also going to have a front end JavaScript folder. So I created public, I created CSS, and I created the JS folder. And then inside the CSS folder, I'm just going to put styles.css. And then in here, I'm going to do something crazy like background color red. OK, so my goal is to make this CSS apply to the page I have showing up in my browser right now. It's to make this background color red in this case. To do that, I need to jump through a couple different hoops. I'm going to say. Uh, where should I do it? Do it up here. App.use slash assets express static public. And I'll explain what's going on there in just a second. 
And now I should be able to do Frank Val style sheet, href assets CSS styles.css. And hopefully I will see a beautiful red background. There it is. Okay, so now let me talk about what I did. So the first thing I did was I just created those folders over there. I created a public folder and a CSS folder and put some CSS inside that CSS folder. Then I added just one line to my index.js. I did app.use slash assets. Then over here it says public. So what this is saying is whenever someone tries to request a static file, so a static file that would be CSS, JavaScript, basically anything that is not handlebars. Whenever someone tries to request a static file from the slash assets folder, it's actually going to get it from the public folder. So this has two arguments. It has slash assets and then public. It's saying whenever someone tries to get something from slash assets, I actually want Express to look in the public folder for it. So let me do another example. If I change this to Wombat, and then I change this to Wombat, it should still work. And I'm telling Express, whenever someone tries to get a static file from the Wombat folder, I want you to actually look inside the public folder for it. How does it know that? Magic. Yep, Express just knows. So if I rename this to um, Hooray, then I would need to change this to, exactly. Oh, you guys are all so excited. Yeah, yeah, sure. If you wanted to, you could have both of these be public and that would be totally fine. Then I would need to change this to public as well, but this should still be PG Keen. Uh, well, let's find out. So it doesn't work. And that's because what it's trying to do is it's trying to go to localhost 3001 slash public slash CSS slash styles dot CSS. And there isn't a root defined for that over here. If I had defined app dot get all this, and then I did a rec res over here, then that might work. But that's an awful lot of trouble for me to go to. So instead, it has this thing built in where I can just say, hey, whenever someone tries to get something from assets, actually load it from the public folder. Make sure these are correct. Yep. So whenever someone tries to get something from assets, actually load it from the public folder. Melissa? No, you didn't. Uh, there aren't very many situations. Uh, the only one I can really think of is that there's this other package manager called Bower. Um, so we're using NPM to install backend stuff. There's this other thing called Bower, which you can use to install frontend stuff. Like you can do Bower install bootstrap, Bower install jQuery, whatever. That installs everything into a folder called Bower components. So if I wanted everything to just show up in the assets folder, I could do something like assets, express, static, Bower components, I can do something like that, and then everything will be loaded from, when I'm doing stuff in here, I'll just be like, oh, okay, everything's in the assets folder. I'll just think that everything is in the assets folder. It could really be anywhere, but this way I don't have to remember, okay, power components, blah, 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 blah. I can just write assets for everything. So, yeah, it's a pretty minor thing, but. John? No, you gotta raise your hand, John. I don't think so, but I'm actually not sure. But if you want to look it up, then let me know. That'd be cool. Other questions? All right, so I'm going to do the same thing for JavaScript. So I'm going to create a JS file, script.js. And I'm not really going to do anything with it. I'm just going to do something like this is working. And then in here, going to link to it. Script source assets JS script.js. That should be it. Now when I refresh this page, 
If I hit the console open, I should see this is working. There it is. So I'm pulling in both my CSS and my JavaScript in the exact same way. This would also work for images, audio files, again, anything else that is not handlebars or actual express logic, express doing stuff. No, I mean, really for this class, everything's going to be in the public folder. We're just doing it. I mean, you you have to write this. Like, you have to have this express static thing in here. Um, but we're just doing it that way to emphasize the difference between this first argument and this second argument, that they do different things. Yeah. But if we have public in that first one in our um, HTML, it will have to be public backslash. Yep, then everything over here would have to be public. Again, I'm just doing it that way so people don't think that they like have to be the same thing. They can be anything you want. Cool. I think that's it. Uh, okay, so you guys go ahead and take a stab at this one. This part's pretty easy, so I think I'm going to give you just like six minutes.